This is Amitai in product there. Uh, he's going to give you a talk in just a minute. But uh, Amitai was not meant to receive this award nor do the talk. He found out at uh, midnight. We worked on it this morning at like 7 a.m. So thank you, Amitai, for jumping in. Yeah, absolutely. He even asked if I should go get him a collared shirt. And I was right. like, no, man, like you look great. You know, <laughs> this is the dress code yeah. here, right? Yeah. It is. So also, uh, shout out to a few people on the slide. Uh, Buna on the engineering team, who is in our governing board. Eric Lam, uh, Patik, and Kinjal, who are in services there. All been great participants in the community. So thank you, all of you. Your war is here. I'll give it to you at the end. And we're looking forward to hearing the talk that Chandu, your <laughs> VP of engineering, was meant to give. Yeah, absolutely. So I might not be holding this while I give this talk. Yeah, thank you again also to my colleagues, Abuna, Eric, Pathak, and everyone has been engaged. A little bit of backstory, um, you know, about two and a half years ago as we started engaging, there was one of the leaders in our org who was really involved in FinOps and was kind of knocking down those virtual hallways at the time because COVID just hit and was trying to explain what this foundation is going to be and how much Google should be involved. And it wasn't a money issue because you might have heard we have a search engine and some ads, you know, so it wasn't the money, but it was like, really, is this interesting? Is FinOps a thing? And we kind of set some goals and we were talking about it. And I got to say, after two, two and a half years, we've definitely exceeded a lot of the things that we were really looking to kind of get from this community and work with this community. Um, so thank you for everyone also in this crowd here of the practitioners and being part of the community. Um, so, you know, I wanted to start off and talk about a little bit how we approach outbound, how we think about FinOps when we engage as you know, a cloud provider. And we look at frameworks, principles, and community. Around the you know, operational frameworks, it's really about what everyone just before talked about. How do we bring business? How do we bring finance? How do we bring engineering and technology all together for that accountability, transparency, and then realizing the business value, right? Because at the end of the day, what each and every one of you want to do is realize your own business's value. You're not, you know, you're not here for some altruistic reason. And then we combine that with principles, the seven principles that we have internally at Google, in Google Cloud, and refined within the FinOps community. And one of them was around blameless, blamelessness culture. And those of you that have been on like some of the uh, monthly meetings may have heard us talk about it about a year ago and kind of how internally at Google, we really like to not look for, hey, you know, Bob or Alice are you know, to blame, but what can we learn about this? What can we take? And we think that's something very critical for FinOps in general and for each and every one of you. The other one um, is about agility, right? We personally at Google, we've been digital native, cloud native over two decades. Some of you have grown from more traditional industries. And so you have to balance, no matter what, that kind of like working fast, but also thinking about scaling it, right? How do you take something small and you scale it without the runaway cost? Um, and so the third part is where we engage with you, right? With community. And the FinOps Foundation obviously is, is a big one, but it's also about kind of blogging and white papers and and understanding how do we build a practice and how do we build standards out of what we're doing so that we can actually grow at a non-linear pace of spend. And that brings me to this slide, which if I were to ask you to raise your hands, I bet there would be very few people in this room that haven't seen these numbers a million times, including today. But it just talks about that scale of where we are with cloud whether you as practitioners look within your own org, even if you do nothing, your groups are gonna be spending more and a lot more. And in general, this industry is growing, right? If we look at a cloud provider, we probably don't have to do a lot and we'll still grow in, in you know, actual numbers. But together with that, you couple it with over 30% of wasted spend. And it doesn't matter which analyst you read or what latest survey, those numbers are similar, right? That kind of non-optimized numbers are humongous, and they keep growing in actual spend because of that. Let's couple it with four out of five CIOs talking about how they need to iterate through business value realization, right? And so we see that there's a lot of tough problems for our space. This is where, you know, I, I really appreciate what JR was saying, but we believe we need to solve this together with our customers, you practitioners, our customers, obviously, but the community in large, um, because we can't go at it alone. The first pillar is financial accountability. That means that everyone needs to have the data, not just the tools, tools are important, but the data 
and then the processes and the governance to really enable the organizations for that kind of accountability across, again, business, finance, technology groups. Internally, our own organization actually has all of that, right? We're kind of, we're all sitting together, finance, product, engineering. And so it helps us sometimes kind of understand the work that other teams have to do. The other is creating sustainable business value. And I think the key word here for me, at least personally, is the sustainable. Uh, we worked with Sky Group a while back. They realized about $3 million in, in savings with Google Cloud, but that's a one-time thing, right? That's a drop. The whole point is that you really have to build these best practices and ownership to continuously iterate on that because it's just like a, you know, a leaky faucet and unfortunately, I'll be realistic, it's gonna continue leaking and you just have to keep finding those and plugging that, you know, those little holes and the whack-a-mole sustainably. You can't fire drill everything out. And then there's the accelerating value realization, right? We worked with Etsy to move some uh, of their spend towards these committed use discounts. They saved 42%, that's great, but that's just one story. It's all about the automation, the intelligence, building into your processes that I talked about before, right? Your toolings, whether it's the cloud native toolings that you're using the console from your cloud provider, whether it's using ISV tooling, or whether it's just getting the raw data out and building your own dashboards like we hear, right? All of those together. There's no one size fits all. And actually one of the great white papers that I think are great that one of my colleagues, Eric Lamb here wrote, right, was about the how to measure the five key KPIs. And what he did there in a very cloud agnostic way is talking about, well, how do you know you're doing the right thing? How do you know you're you know, really realizing what you wanna know? You have to measure. It's not about, do I realize every single recommendation that my cloud provider or someone gave me is, am I actually attacking the right ones? And do I know, am I running? Am I walking? Am I crawling? It's okay not to be running. Actually, you know, the moment you're running, you're probably resetting yourself back, in, back to some kind of crawl situation because you need to now, you know, think about that again. Kind of a final note that I want to leave is, okay, I, you know, I'm Google. I spoke here for Google about the products that we're creating but we're also a big company of our own, right? We have the same challenges that you're having with our own infrastructure, right? How do we balance the money we're spending with velocity? A lot of times you'll hear Googlers talk about, you know, Google speed, right? We wanna run. We've got hundreds of engineers that are just vying in our organization to create new products and new platforms at the same time. Well, we have cloud costs. And then one of the ways that we do that is by setting very clear metrics and goals, and then giving our different departments the autonomy on the budget, right? So now they can do whatever they want with that budget, or almost what they want with those resources, human resources, money for cloud, but we're measured, and we keep iteratively looking at that and figuring out, you know, what went well, what went wrong? And again, if I couple that with one of our principles of blamelessness, it's not about someone spinning up a VM they shouldn't have. It's about, okay, what can we learn? What did we miss? What are in our governance or compliance is missing? What should we do? And then leaving enough kind of space and time for us to address those and then iterate again, bring that into our OKR process, right? The objective key results process and learning from that. Um, so, you know, bringing those kind of uh, things there and then the practices um, and evangelizing them within the organization. Um, you know, I've always heard you gotta leave some kind of uh, call to action at the end of all these talks. So my call to action is obviously, we've got about 10 folks or so across, like JR said, engineering, uh, services, product around billing and finance and all that. So please come engage with us. We've got plenty of talks tomorrow. I'm not gonna choose my favorite talk, but FinOps Culture definitely is one that I'm gonna be at. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Hey, I need to click it from you. And also, just the fact that he walked on and did this with almost no sleep and no practice is amazing. So thank you, Amitai, for being a great part of the yeah, community. Thank you. Yeah, you're great. JR here from the FinOps Foundation. Thank you for watching. Please go to FinOps.org if you wanna get plugged into this amazing community. And of course, hit subscribe right here on YouTube to get all the future content. Hope to see you soon.